welcome to the Know Yourself channel where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer and in this video we're going to take a look at the sine wave. Okay, now what the sine wave is, is basically the path that the zodiac constellations and the planets take across the sky visible from Earth. So basically what you're seeing on the screen here is a line in the middle which would basically represent Earth and on the top left hand side of the line you should see a semicircle and at the bottom right hand side another semicircle. Okay so if you look to where the spring equinox is, okay, this point, this point here is basically on a daily basis I'll tell you what happens on a daily basis with this sine wave. On a daily basis the sun will rise as at the part where it says spring equinox. It will make its way up halfway up the circle to the tropic of cancer and that's the middle point of the day. And then it'll drop down to where it says September 21st autumn equinox and that's where the sun sets at night uh, at the scales of Libra that balances the day from the night. Then it will travel round down to the tropic of Capricorn uh, to the point where it says winter solstice and that point is the middle of the night halfway to when the sun returned back to its original starting point at the spring equinox. Okay, so once it climbs back up to past Pisces, it makes it back to the beginning of the circle. This is basically just the zodiac wheel split into an S, uh, but if you just bring it back round on itself, making it the full circle, that's basically what's going on. And obviously, in the northern hemisphere, as the sun's rising, going to midday, the opposite is happening in the southern hemisphere. So when the sun, it's midday in the northern hemisphere, it'll be like midnight in the southern hemisphere. It'll be the opposite, at opposite points. Uh, and basically what happens on a yearly scale with this sine wave is when the sun makes it to the zodiac sign Aries, right, on the 21st of March, the very beginning, zero degrees of Aries, this represents the beginning of the spring equinox. And then when it makes its way to June the 21st uh, to Cancer, the beginning of Cancer, at the Tropic of Cancer, this is the summer solstice. This is just what occurred two days ago. And then when it makes it to Libra, it's September the 21st, that's the beginning of the autumn equinox, you know, the scales of balance. And then when it reaches December 21st, that's the winter solstice, and then back up to where it started, the spring equinox. And this is just a continuous cycle, this happens all the time. Uh, Opposite is true for the Northern Hemisphere, is what I just explained for the yearly cycle of the sine wave. <clears throat> so basically, the Northern Hemisphere's Tropic of Cancer, uh, where it's really, really hot, where the sun gets there, it's the opposite for the Southern Hemisphere, it'll be the Tropic of Capricorn, you know. Uh, the line in the middle also represents the equator, middle point of the Earth. Uh, whatever your view on Earth is, the middle point of it. Uh, yeah, so basically this is how it goes. Uh, but actually, when the sun reaches March the 21st, it isn't actually the zodiac sign Aries that is rising. It's actually Pisces and just beginning to see Aquarius. So, but this, that is how we determine what age we are in through precession of the equinoxes. And that means that everything you see here 
where it all should start with Aries being here. It's been slipping back the zodiac signs one degrees around every 72 years. So we're now at slipped back here. Okay, so this is what's being revealed. But tropical astrology is based on the seasons so that basically every 21st of March represents zero degrees of Aries. Even though precession has slipped it into being Pisces Aquarius that's that you're seeing rise here on March the 21st instead of Aries. But as I said, that is to show humanity which age we are in. Okay? Right guys, thanks for watching. Please share, please subscribe. Thank you.